तड़प तड़प के इस दिल से आह निकलती रही मुझको सजा दी प्यार की ऐसा क्या गुना किया तो लुट गए हाँ लुट गए तो लुट गए हम तेरी मोहब्बत में तड़प तड़प के इस दिल से आह निकलती रही मुझको सजा दी प्यार की ऐसा क्या गुना किया तो लुट गए Good evening and welcome to this special presentation. In the late 90s and the early 2000s, there was a magical voice which became a household tune. People used to listen to his songs, enjoy the lyrics, enjoy the way it was sung, and he became quite literally a household name. Nobody ever knew what his full name was because if you heard his song, you would at least in that generation at that time would know that this is a song that has been sung by KK. That magical voice breathes his last yesterday and that too immediately after a concert. He was feeling uncomfortable, there was uh, distress, he was feeling hot, he was, uh, there was a lot of perspiration and then because he was unwell, the concert had to be cut short and he was moved to his residence, later to a hospital where he was declared brought dead. He was only 53. The country, the nation, as well as members of his fraternity remember him fondly. And we thought that as we uh, mourn the demise of KK, we must also look back at this life which has been cut short and what it really meant for a generation even this one for that matter. I would like to introduce our guest, Salim Merchant is a singer and a music composer, Babul Supriyo, singer and a member of the Trinamool Congress, Sonam Kalra, singer, composer and a songwriter. Uh, we also have some doctors to be able to uh, tell us and explain to us how uh, these things go horribly wrong. Could KK have uh, seen those signs and perhaps have acted a little early, people around him, could they have acted a little early so as to uh, save his life today, so that he could have been alive today? Could that have happened? Uh, Dr. Balbir Singh, Chairman, Cardiology uh, at the Max Hospital, Saket. Thank you very much. In just a short moment, uh, Usha Uttap and Dr. Praveen Chandra are also going to join us. Babul Supriya, I want to begin with you. I'm sure you would have fond memories of KK, uh, many songs that were sung by him. Uh, you were also extremely active in your singing career around the same period, around that time. Uh, how do you remember this personality? Well, firstly, you know, uh, I think that the very fact that we hear or we have been hearing for years that discipline is something, you know, leading uh, uh, a nice lifestyle, a serene, calm lifestyle, a planned, uh, good time management, Basically, discipline is something that helps you, that makes you, that gives you longevity. I think that is slowly turning into a myth after the way the world has changed uh, in unknown ways after the uh, after what happened with COVID in the last two and a half years. You will not really find anyone more anyone more disciplined and uh, leading a calm, serene life like KK. Apart from having a magical voice, he's a very balanced guy. And, uh, you know, uh, we started around the same time and uh, there could be a lot of singers who may have super hit songs, but this was one voice which we really associated with playback singing, where the voice, uh, you know, it touched your soul. It was a 70 mm sweet voice. And the change that we saw in, uh, in uh, you know, in, in, in Indian film music that was brought by, uh, basically by Pritham, uh, we, we saw that that rock music that entered uh, uh, Bollywood, the, the the amount of contribution that KK has in, in in that particular era, in that timing, and how it got introduced into Bollywood is phenomenal. Uh, like like Pritham's songs got its color through KK. KK's voice actually made those songs beautiful for for that entire sound change to happen in Bollywood. So he was a unique guy and a guy really who led with. Uh, uh, you know, uh, he, he, 
he drove he was uh, present for 15 days he is not someone who is going to message you or reply to your message immediately or someone who is going to call you every 7 days or uh, call call you for a party or a uh, dinner or something he mm. can't call him a recluse he was a very you know very jovial guy affable guy but he led his own disciplined life and that's why i'm saying that uh, yes the delay in taking him to the hospital as they say in medical terms your doctors here that golden hour probably would have uh, was lost that golden hour in in that hour where he showed so many signs of a probable uh, you know cardiac problem i wish you know someone uh, someone really caught that but with the euphoria and the adrenaline rush and the sweating and everything that happens to any singer after a after a concert is so common that it is very natural very uh, common for a manager or someone else around the singer to just want him to calm down a little bit before thinking that it could be something unnatural something is happening inside of a guy who's as young as 53 correct he's absolutely gone too soon there was so much more than he could have given you know a- absolutely gone too soon 53 no age uh, salim merchant uh, you know as babul supriyo was saying a man who led a life with discipline uh for something like this to happen uh while while we'll uh, look into that aspect in just a short moment i want you to uh, tell us about your association with him how do you how do you remember him what would you like to say about him or share with us about him by the way usha utopian playback singer is now also with us thank you uh, ms usha utop for joining us but salim merchant thank you i just met him a few days ago and uh, mm. he was very excited and very happy that you know the concert uh, scene has started again after 2 years of uh, covid everybody is back on the road mm. back singing you know we're doing i met him at an airport where i was going to a concert and he was going to a concert so um he looked very happy very positive very healthy and he like like babul said he lived a very very uh, you know different lifestyle i mean you know he was not with the uh, the whole bhagdod and you know the 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 continuous uh, action that uh, you know the artists go through he liked to space out his work mm. he liked to not do too many concerts in a month and uh, it was a complete family man would love cooking food at his home and you know he was that kind of a guy I, my memory with him uh, uh, you know, so many memories but i can name one uh, which is really uh was very distinct in my heart uh, mm-hmm. and will always remain with me was the time when he came to sing aashaye from the movie ikbal yes uh, and that song uh, you know the way he he belted it out he was so effortless you know um, he brought it just brought so much so, so, such amazing smiles on everyone in the studio and uh, and then one thing he you know there was a part in the song uh which uh he insisted that i sing and that's the kind of a large hearted person he was i mean i i was not ready to but he insisted mm. that he will not sing that part in mm. ashai mm. he wanted my voice to remain and uh, and i i mean i was obviously you know i left it to him and he and then that and then he he i i asked him why does he want you know why does he want me to sing that part and he said this is this way at least we'll have a song together Hmm. that you and me have sung so that was kk you know we all know him as a great singer we all know him as the voice of romance and uh, the 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 whole versatility of him being a rock singer and uh, and and doing songs like khuda jaane and you know hum rahe ya na rahe uh, but he was also an amazing amazing human being really large hearted beautiful soul and again we can't uh, help reiterate this enough that uh, this is uh, while we are celebrating his legacy uh, at the same time mourning the loss because uh, he went too soon usha utap i want to come to you uh, you know uh, uh, both these gentlemen who spoke babul supriyo as well as uh, uh, salim merchant are talking about uh, what a fantastic human being he was but uh, the sort of songs he chose for himself and you know in the uh, late 90s early 2000s uh, the sort of songs uh, that that he sang uh, find resonance even now which is quite rare which means that the songs that he sang and the way he did it they they uh, carry that soul in them uh, to be able to to be able to be alive even now 
याद आएंगे वो पल आशाएं सलीम मोशन मेंशन यारों जस्ट टू मच really i uh, i have to say that he is one of the most fantastic voices that india has produced really and he truly was never in this rat race of being number 1 or it, it really didn't matter to him he was also a very private person and he loved his own uh, space and you know while he was on stage the kind of humility that came across you know besides the energy and the power packed performances that he did and the kind of adrenaline that uh, was pumping but it pumps up for all of us when we're on stage but that you know with the uh, kk it was something totally different because he was really and truly our youth icon i mean every boy and every girl in college could relate with him and they still do, do relate with the words of the songs because he was i mean you know he had such a romantic voice and he spoke about the pains of uh, romance the you know heartbreak breaking up making up again loving caring sharing all those wonderful things that you know evoke all the emotions that are uh, you know the youth think of when they're in college and uh, college and school and so he became such a youth icon and the kind of songs that he chose uh, not chose really i mean there were so many songs that were given to him but whatever he sang it came across so beautifully because he was such an honest performer mm. truly honest true to himself true to his music true to his audiences and that comes across so beautifully no nakra no natak baj you know he just sang he was really a youth icon mm. and a rock star par excellence singer just i mean it's not as if he had a, a great deep resonant voice or this or that it's just that he made the romance so true and so real mm. everything everything that he sang I can't think of one song that uh, didn't resonate with the uh, with the listener really and uh, for me it it's really really sad because i mean there is the south indian connect as well and he used to call me usha chechi which very few people call me that's of course chechi means uh, didi in malayalam mm. and we've met on so many stages you know the respect and the uh, you know the uh, stage manners that he had I always believe that you know artists must have stage manners really he his behavior was so marvelous whether it was with his musicians or with his fans or with the organizers or with just me i mean you know he was just such a fantastic human being hmm. such a fantastic human being and it's so sad when you know i mean that he's gone and people are talking about you know could I I really I, I really don't want to think about anything that might have or could have been because he's gone and that's it and all I can say is I wish that uh, you know his family has the strength really to go through this terrible loss 53 is this is this an age to go I mean we can all say yes gone too soon and but really I I cannot say more in better words that the song is always bigger than the singer and his songs will always live on well said and uh, it's I mean, not that's a very just important thing that you said in uh, 2000 or na- late 90s no i mean i mean, i started in uh, 53 years ago and i live to tell the tale that kk is one one of the brightest shining stars very very reserved very private person always happy and such a complete family man what a musician what a musician really he was just so marvelous and the smile that he mm. gave you mm. was always so beautiful suram kalra so before I, b- before i come to you you know let's let's play the footage from that last concert where he started feeling uneasy let's let's play that footage on the screen right now uh those last moments where you can see him wiping his face with a towel uh, again and again turning around uh, asking people saying that it's 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 too hot uh it it's getting very hot here uh sweating uh pointing towards the air conditioner uh now that you look back at this footage with the benefit of hindsight you would think that this was a time when when someone should have intervened someone around him maybe he himself but again uh, you know in the euphoria of a concert that's that's the last thing that happens to you and then of course uh, uh you know this this footage that you see where uh, some sort of fumigation is taking place 
uh, which has also come under sharp criticism. Now, if that's a fire extinguisher being used, then uh, that's the worst possible way to use a fire extinguisher. Because this is basically uh, carbon dioxide which is being sprayed on people. I don't know. I mean, this is all subject matter of investigation. And then this footage of uh, KK being taken away, no stretcher, uh, just being taken out on foot. And then, of course, this whole uh, conversation of why did he go to the uh, hotel first? He should have straight away been taken to the hospital. Again, you know, these are things with the benefit of hindsight uh, you tend to discuss. An FIR has been lodged for uh, a, ma a matter in, uh, you know, un unnatural death, Sonam Kalra. But do you feel that when things like these happen with that adrenaline that uh, Babul Supriyo was talking about, uh, there's all the more reason for artists, for individuals to see these signs. I mean, a doctor would be able to advise us better. So, Sanket, just before I get into that, I'd just like to take a moment to honor, to honor his memory, honor his body of work. And as Usha ji said, you know, all of this, of course, is dissection and it's wishing we had done things differently. Yeah. I think I woke up this morning thinking of how ironic the words were. And as many people thought, you know, where he said, hum rahe aana rahe kal. Kal yaad aayenge pal. And true, he refers to Zindagi being choti si. I mean, it's had... I've had goosebumps just thinking about this mm. and you know exactly what you're saying too often as artists no matter the kind of tech writers we send no matter how hard how many times our managers will talk to people about safety measures about things that we require to perform safely sadly we are still at the end of the day not given the kind of uh, we're not treated the way I believe we should I mean why were there no paramedics when you have so many people in a large room just for the artists as well, you need paramedics. You need paramedics for such a large room. You cannot be spraying uh, fire extinguishers on people even. Just don't let them in in the first place. Mm -hmm. There were so many things that went wrong. But I, I like you, I think many times I just kept thinking, why were there no, there are no paramedics? I mean, every time there's a big concert, there should be. It is mandatory to have a paramedic there and i think that when kk was performing as an artist no matter how much pain you're in you one thought goes through your head which is the show must go on i cannot i have a responsibility to my audience therefore i must continue to do this you know um and many artists have always done that so even if he was feeling sick he probably didn't realize of course the gravity of the situation sure. but i do believe that you know someone should have acted faster and sooner and I just, I mean, it is, as Usha ji said, it's so heartbreaking that a 53-year-old, had he got the correct medical attention, a musician like him who, I mean, for me, I didn't have the good fortune like Usha ji or Salim or even Babu to have met him or worked with him firsthand. But I can tell you just listening to him over the years, I think what really always made KK stand out for me was the fact that he sang with so much honesty he sang with so much truth it wasn't mm. about the vocal gymnastics or showing off it was about the lending song. emotion to mm, every emotion. word and i think that when you can be true to the music and as usha ji said when you realize that you are not here because i mean the music is not here because of you you are here because of the music mm. and when you can pay obeisance to it and when you can do it with ibadat and honesty that's when you'll sing and it'll touch people, it'll reach people the way it should. And he True. had the ability, despite not being trained, to be able to do something like this. So it is really such a terrible loss because, as Babul said, he did change the tone of so much Bollywood music. I mean, he brought so much into it, you know. So, I mean, there are many reasons. It's been a terrible weekend for music. I mean, we've had, you know, another musician in the Punjab shot. And it is, it's been sort of a heavy weekend for music and a very Absolutely. sad one. Absolutely, a very sad we week indeed. Uh, Dr. Praveen Chandra, Chairman of the Division of uh, uh, Interventional Cardiology uh, at the Medanta Hospital Gurugram, as well as Dr. Balbir Singh continue to be with us. Uh, Dr. Singh, I want to come to you now. Uh, you see, you heard Babul Supri over there where he said that uh, what, what triggers uh, a cardiac arrest uh, or, or any uh, relation or, or any, anything to happen with the heart, uh, the, the few things that one needs to watch out for is that you should not live a stressful life, 
you know this is what is usually advised that uh, uh, take rest pace out your work there should be no hypertension and in this case uh, none of this existed and yet this happened so is that a stroke of fate is that luck is that the so, tragedy so of life I will, uh, I will uh, come to this question that uh, first thing we have to realize that the commonest cause of death uh, in the country and in the world over is a sudden cardiac death and it happens in the general population so if you take the population and whole uh, it comes unannounced it is the first event to happen mm. so you will ask me that if sudden cardiac death is the first event to happen what can we do to actually stop it yeah. we can't stop it like that and uh, dissecting whether the arrangements were good or not is not going to uh, happen but yes there are few things we must understand that with the onset of first few symptoms you should take this opportunity to go to hospital suppose somebody has uneasiness and sweating like kk had unfortunate for him that we lost such a wonderful person if you have uneasiness and sweating you know you are unwell you give yourself another 3 minutes 5 minutes maximum 10 minutes if you are not feeling well the first thing is to rush to the hospital uh it may turn out that it was just a uh, acidity or it may turn out that it was a non cardiac pain but if it is a cardiac pain if it is a heart attack a life is saved we call this the golden hour of the heart Correct. and many lives can be just saved by reaching the hospital in time mm. so this is the first thing that is to be done the second thing is that we know the government is not taking uh, action of uh, putting in automatic external defibrillators so having external defibrillators on spots like malls spots like congregations like this auditoriums is with a paramedic you can't have a machine without a paramedic there so Correct. if you have one paramedic and a machine and a wheelchair or even a stretcher it would have been much more helpful at no. least it would have alerted people that there is something wrong we have to rush to the hospital very important and a life could have been and that too so, for for something which comes all of a sudden and which is sadly very common dr chandra yeah dr chandra uh, for something which has become so common these days do you think yes. that uh, this should be a system which must be put in place immediately i mean see yes. do uh, dr singh uh, told us the the importance of uh, you know acting in that golden hour in with hindsight sadly as as we all have right now could that have saved his life yeah okay so basically you know uh, first of course is the recognition or i must say education about knowing what exactly is you know are the symptoms of a impending heart problem and many time and that is what happened this time in his kk's case that uh, the symptom of the heart was not recognized mm. he thought that it is heat he thought that it is you know excitement sweating etc but let me you know tell you that the very common symptoms of a heart problem are is unexplained sweating if somebody is sweating a lot and is having cold sweats to tell you know generally people say i'm getting cold sweats severe you know impending uh, sensation of uh, uh, dropping or you know feeling very very weak mm. and also having chest pain or choking in the you know throat mm. these are very common symptoms of a acute heart attack and most likely he had a acute heart attack and this heart attack as dr singh was also saying that you know the golden hour the treatment has to be done and this golden hour is basically that the treatment should be done within 30 to 60 minutes of the first onset of symptoms mm. and in his case most likely he reached beyond 1 hour and we know that the death occurs in the first 60 minutes or in the first 90 minutes and that is why we say when people have heart attack almost 70% die before reaching the hospital correct so that can be prevented by early recognition more education of symptoms and the third thing is reaching the hospital very early as early as true, possible true. and that can happen for example in this case a uh, am ambulance or a uh, you know whenever people should be there correct there, Yeah. but absolutely thank you very much doctors i think this is uh, important perspective and particularly people who are in high pressure jobs uh, must know about uh, these things something as basic as this can help save your life thank you very much